Welcome back everybody, Chef David here, cooking today with our new wave pressure cooker. I'm using it today on our PIC, Precision Induction Cooktop. This one's gonna be a real quick recipe. Sticking with our country foods theme, we're gonna cook some greens with some smoked pork hock. Very simple. Greens have to be washed, triple wash them if you can. Largest body of water you can get, you fill your, clean your sink, fill it with cold water, plunge them. This way the sand, the dirt sinks to the bottom. You scoop the leaves out and let them dry, then we chop them. So mine, I had to pre-wash because we're on TV. I've got a couple different types. I've got collard greens, mustard greens, and I've got fresh kale. Two schools of thought here. As usual, I like to give you guys as much information as I can. Some people say the stem, when cooked long enough, completely edible. And they're right, it is edible. But is it fun to eat? Eh, I don't know, my opinion is a little different. I don't mind taking the stem off. If you want to leave it on, leave it on. We're going to heat some olive oil. We've got some mustard seeds in this recipe and a beautiful, beautiful smoked pork hock. It's going to give great flavor to this and a little chicken broth. Okay, this one's going to go quick. So just peel off your greens. The little tender ones, the small stems, those can stay on. But I think the big stems, my opinion, should come off. I know I'm going to get an email from someone down south that's going to tell me different, but we're doing our best up here and uh, up on the prairie. So we take the stems off. This is my kale. We can start cooking them down right away. Can you put onion in this? Garlic, fresh leeks, fresh spring onions? Absolutely. You know, I love that sound. So do this real quick. I know my cameraman's looking at me wondering why I didn't do this earlier. I wanted you guys to see I actually do some work on the show. So that's our kale. And again, what do we do with the scraps? Compost, feed it to the chickens, give it to the pigs. Then I've got my collards here, right? These I take off right at the end. And don't cut them too small, because these are gonna cook down almost to nothing. And again, we have the stem issue. So right here, see how big these are? These are gonna cook down, right? Well, that sounds good already. Pull the stems off. Stems make a nice little snack for the chickens out back. If you have a hog or two, you know. If you live in the city, that's fine. Put them in your garden. Give them to your neighbor, don't waste them. Too much stuff goes in the garbage bin. So anyway, these are our collard greens. And in this one particular case, it's gonna seem like we're overfilling our pot. We're really not. Because again, these are gonna cook down so far. Now they're just frying up in here a little bit with the oil. And even that's not making them break down. What's gonna make them break way down is gonna be the chicken stock. So we add these, we're gonna add our mustard seed, which we're gonna soften in the cooking process. We're gonna add beautiful ham hock, just like this. And later on, we're gonna slice it up and add it to the greens. But we're gonna let it cook in here whole. Remember, it's smoked, it's fully cooked. So it's gonna give off a lot of flavor right on the top, and in our broth. I'm gonna add the rest of my greens. When we come back, we're gonna have a very simple country dish, cooked greens with smoked ham hock. Okay, so the rest of the greens are in. Gonna put the top on. Goes on simple. We're gonna lock it into place. When our temperature indicator, the pressure indicator pops up, I'm gonna start my timing. When we come back, we're gonna have a nice country dish cooked greens and smoked ham hot. Welcome back everybody. Chef David here from New Wave. Doing some dinners today in our pressure cooker. And uh, you can see I'm using mine on our PIC. Okay, one of the, the dishes today, this is a side dish actually, we're doing uh, cooked greens with smoked pork hock. So let's see how they came out. Let me turn off my heat source. Now let's release, quick release, some steam. You can slow release these too. Follow the guide in the manual and you can see what I'm talking about. But this recipe is a quick release. That means I'm gonna quickly release the steam. As soon as that blows off the steam, we'll unlock it. We'll have beautiful cooked greens. We're gonna plate up. We're gonna slice some of the pork hock, put that around there. We're gonna have a great side dish. This takes about 30 seconds, 45 seconds to release. But you make sure it's all released. You make sure the red pressure button is down. This way, if you go to unlock it, you know that there's no pressure under there. Pressure button drops. 
unlock it, so now I know it's safe. Okay? All the condensation, I let that hot condensation run back into my greens. All right? First thing I'm going to do is take out my pork so I can slice it up. All right. And we'll put up some of our greens, huh? Well, that's hot, huh? The mustard seed, good sharp knife. Now let's get some of this meat right off of there. Sharp knife, never hurts. Now you don't have to take it all the meat off. I just like some for the garnish. This is just me. Now how you guys eat your pork coxes? Up to y'all. So I'm just gonna use this beautiful meat right here for garnish. All right. This is what I do. And if you guys do something different. You never send me an email in the cooking club. I even put the skin in there too. All right. A little butcher black. Small pinch of salt, because that's already smoked and salted, right? Let's plate up our side dish. You guys can send in some ideas of what we would serve with this. And remember, we started with chicken broth and mustard seeds and that smoked ham. It gives us a really nice smoky flavor on this broth. And I don't see any reason why we couldn't sprinkle a little vinegar over that. And right over the top, there's that hawk. Look at that. Now, if that don't get the kids home from the schoolyard, nothing will. So our cooked greens, smoked pork hock, and our pressure cooker. Let me know what you guys think, okay? We'll see you next time.